Mary Lou Belli, Emmy Award winning director. Um, we are so glad that we had you directing this project, Flavors. Thank you so much for being with us today. Oh, I'm thrilled to be here. Thank you, Lucy. Wonderful. So we have a few questions. We'd just love to give your, get your insights about Flavors and, and the whole entire process. So it's so great to have you with us. So first question. When you saw the script, what was your first thought about the project? I think I loved the characters. I thought they were all very well drawn. Uh, the dialogue was extremely conversational, which not everyone can capture. And um, I think most important, I think that they weren't stereotypes. Or if they were stereotypes, they were breaking the stereotypes at the same time as being an archetype that we recognized. But then there was always a gag or a surprise and I went, oh, that's not what I expected. That is wonderful. And so do you find that, um, do you enjoy doing comedy more than drama or? You know, it's, that's, that's a hard thing for me to say. Um, I, I kind of cut my um, teeth on comedy and it's something that I happen to be very good at. And I think because of my musical background, it came very easily to me because I just heard the rhythms or feel the cadence and I just got it. I mean, it was just in my bones from the time I started it. Uh -huh. um, but drama for me, you know, I think I love the, the challenge of, uh, especially in television, in shooting single camera um, stories that are complicated, that have a lot of pathos and, mm -hmm. and big arcs in terms of character, um, you know, what, what the characters are going through. And you can, I think you can do harder, obviously more dramatic stories mm -hmm. that way. Mm -hmm. So thinking about um, flavors, it deals with um, stereotypes, but it's presented as a comedy. As a director, how do you make sure it stays funny from the page to the screen? You know, that's not very hard. Um, first of all, I'm going to say, I'm going to throw the, the responsibility, first of all, on the actors. Okay? I f mm -hmm. hire funny actors. <laughs> you know? Now, that being said, um, you know, there's some famous directors, John Frankenheimer, who said that casting was 90% of the job. Mm -hmm. Well, casting is a huge part of the job, and if I can hire people who hear those rhythms and who are funny, um, and at the same time, good actors, mm -hmm. then um, half, half my job goes away in terms of making them funny, because they are funny already. But then I get to be more of a sculptor, and I get to tweak and just finesse and say a little bit more there and a little less there. Um, I can talk to them about timing and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, and at the same time, talk from a character basis. You know, the character might do something faster, but I might say, you know, they're really in a hurry here, rather than say, just say it faster. Ah. So do you feel that you have to treat material that may be more sensitive in a different way? I don't think so. I think I approach everything I do just with honesty mm -hmm. and as I, and I, I don't choose to do material that I don't think um, rings true mm -hmm. so um, ringing true and striking the funny bone is the same with me <laughs> so you know like even in my own life I married a funny guy so I I look for the humor in everything especially I think that humor is a great tool for dealing with pain you know, so it's a great um, way to get across something that might be harder to accept mm. or hear. But if you do it in a funny way, it's not as hurtful to people, especially if that person is, you're saying, hey, look in the mirror, what you do is not okay. Yes. I've heard that for actors, comedy is harder than drama. Do you think that's true? And is it the same in directing? Okay. Um, is it true? Absolutely, positively, yes. Um, the, the saying is, dying is easy, comedy is hard. It's absolutely the case. Um, for a director, um, well, let me just say this. If you don't hear the comedy, if you don't know the comedy, if you don't understand the structure of jokes, if you can't identify jokes to begin with, mm -hmm. then um, you will have trouble directing comedy. Um, for me, it was something that I learned. Um, and, you know, now that I've written a book about it, you know, which is now in its second edition, the sitcom career book, um, I feel like I really understand it to its roots. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they say if you can teach something, you know it better. Absolutely the case. So, um, I do think it, I think it is hard. Because on top of making everything truthful and getting all the shots and working with the actors, 
your responsibility is and make it funny all at the same time. Yes, very true. So we saw you on set during Flavors. We saw you take lines that were good and give notes to the actors that made them even funnier. <laughs> Do you have a special process for identifying where you need additional beats or pauses? You know, for me, uh, it's like music. Mm -hmm. So I hear it, and if it's wrong, I just know. I, I'm very specific. I would say that's basically my technique. Mm -hmm. I don't go in and say, make it funnier. Mm -hmm. um, I usually don't go in and say, just make it faster. Um, if I say make it faster, which is usually funnier, mm -hmm. um, I will often give a reason for the actor from their character's point of view. Mm -hmm. um, but also because I understand something I mentioned before, the structure of jokes, I can say, you know, you have to fool us with the setup of the joke so we don't see the punchline coming and that element of surprise works in yeah. to the result of the audience laughing. Gotcha. Oh, that's very interesting. And, you know, and I don't keep actors in the dark. Mm -hmm. I will often tell them why because not only does it help them with that joke, mm -hmm. <clears throat> excuse me, it helps them also believe that I know what I'm talking about and therefore they trust me, but also it gives them the basis for every time they do that kind of joke ever again in the future, mm -hmm. they understand why. So basically, I'm teaching at the same time as I'm directing. That's wonderful. Wow, well thank you so much Mary Lou. This has been a pleasure to have oh, you with us today. Oh, thank you Lisa and Laura. It's really oh, great to I'm be looking, here with you. Looking forward to seeing you again on many more future projects. And I hope you get to do a bunch more flavors. Wonderful. Thank okay. you so much. Thanks.